Hello, hello again, and welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH, and I am back for another Geek Loot Spotlight video. This time we are looking at my little bit of a sword collection here. Um, it's been so long since I've even done one of these Geek Loot Spotlight videos. I think I've only done two of them so far. But I wanted to do another one of these, and I've been meaning to record this video forever now. Um... So here we go. Um, the main focus of this particular video is going to be The Legend of Zelda, because ever since playing The Legend of Zelda game, especially Link to the Past, but more, but more so um, Ocarina of Time, I always wanted the Master Sword and Hylian Shield combo. And it just so happens um, I was eventually able to get my hands on a couple of these. So... The one in the middle, of course, is not a Zelda uh, sword, but I wanted to include it in this video just because it's really my only other sword, and I figured I'd show you that right now. Let's take a look at... Well, you know what? Let's do the non-Zelda one first. Let's grab this one here. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> so, you know, high school, early college, I always wanted to have a sword, you know? I always just thought it would be cool um, to have a uh, sword. So here we go, we got our blade. This is just a sh little short sword, it's a little dragon blade. So you got the, you got the little head there, in, in gold. That's kind of a cool design, right there. Got the kind of gray scaly hilt. You got the golden wings. Just a really neat looking, um, really neat looking sword in my opinion. Um, picked it up mm, many years ago, 10, 15 years ago, probably. Um, but yeah, that's my first, I'll show you the other side here, pretty much the same, but, uh, you got your dragon, your hilt, your wing, little gold design there. I really, really like it. Uh, not too expensive of a sword, but just a nice little, uh, showy piece. And this thing is actually fairly sharp. So I definitely want to be a little careful with this one. All right. And it did come with a... It did come with a little sheath here. A little plastic red and gold designed sheath. I'm not quite sure what this little piece is here, what, all the, what this is all about. Um, but... Uh, got your little cloth thing there, but your red sheath all the way up to the design at the top here in gold so yeah that is the first sword that I ever owned now we get to the meat of the video so the first uh, master sword that I got is this beast right here found this online uh, several years ago, and it was just cheap enough. I'm like, you know what? I gotta own this combo. I want to say like I paid about a hundred bucks for the both of these. <clears throat> but here you got your big old master sword, and it's actually got some heft to it. Nice little hilt design. This has kind of got like almost like a rubbery, plasticky uh, grip to it. You can kind of feel me as I clench my fists around it here. Um. So it's kind of got that softer feel to it instead of just touching plastic or metal or whatever. You got your Triforce design in the right below the blade. Your little guard there. Your little guard things on either side. Flip it over. And you got the same stuff right there. And your ginormous silver blade. Looks like a little blood groove there. It's a long one. It's a pretty long one there. Uh, this one, what I will say, the one thing I am not as impressed with this particular sword, it looks cool, it feels kind of cool, it feels hefty, but the thing with it is, is like if you hold it, you can tell this is a really just a, a cheap uh, replica or cheap showpiece because what happens is you can kind of feel the blade if you shake it a little bit. You can kind of feel, the blade kind of almost feels like a little bit loose and it kind of wobbles, I think, a little bit more than it should. 
you know, if you're gonna, if you were gonna use a sword this big, you'd want it to feel really sturdy, I would think. And this one just kind of doesn't really feel that way. Nonetheless, it looks cool. So let's put her down and I'll grab the, just got a simple little sheath with it. Kind of a pleather, uh, brown pleather kind of a generic sheath for it. That's fine. I did also get a wrist guard for the shield part, which I'll show you shortly. Um, but I don't, I, in my last move a few years ago, I think I lost it. Um, I don't know where the, uh, the wrist guard is. So I don't know where that ended up, but yeah, that whole combo was pretty cool. And I can say, Hey, I actually have a pretty life size master sword and Hylian shield. But before we get to the shield, I'll show you my other variant of the master sword that I picked up a few years ago. Actually, at the same time, I picked up my Ed 209 um, replica that I showed you on the channel a few years ago. Uh, I picked this one up in Comic-Con at uh, Wizard World Comic-Con a few years ago. And yeah, basically this is the similar type of deal. This one's got a little more rounded, though. It's not flat. It's actually rounded uh, in the middle, and then it swoop, swoops up for the guard. But you got your plasticky shield, similar design, or not shield, um, sh hilt, whatever, handle. <laughs> uh, you got your Triforce there again. But this, of course, is the black version, meaning this is for the Shadow Link or Dark Link variant of the sword so this is pretty awesome now this one's a little as i said it's a little bit smaller version a little more compact but i actually kind of like it a little bit better it feels better in the hand it feels more sturdy it feels more solid i actually really kind of like it um <clears throat> you got your of course your blade up there again same design on both sides no real variant there but i really like the i really like this one i really like the way it feels um so yeah, that's a pretty cool looking sword. And then it came also with a, just a little plastic sheath in it here with some silver designs in it. Here's your little arrow looking thing, a little design, a kind of a neat little, I like that they added a little design to this, you know, at least to kind of make it, make it look interesting up there, flip it over, basically your same design on either side but there you go and back down so there you go those are my uh, swords uh, the swords that I have so far and of course like I said I always wanted the main ones that I really wanted were the Legend of Zelda Master Sword and Hylian Shield speaking of Hylian Shields let's go take a look at the shield components of these two swords here and we'll wrap up the video but before we do that let's take a gander i'll swoop up here with the camera along that wall there we've got both light and dark hylian shields and you can see that um you know the the light one is actually bigger because that that came with this one down here which is a little bit bigger in scale but i'm going to very carefully step across here and then I'll take you guys in look at these uh shields so this is the one that i ordered online with the, sh the the original sword there a little dusty i apologize i just dusted this thing too that's the worst part it's amazing how dust accumulates but what i really like about these shields is that then not only do they look cool you know they're handmade they're hand painted you can even tell like there's a lot of little imperfections in the wood or little things with the paint. But what I really like is that for a blind or low vision person, you can actually, all this stuff is not just painted, this design is not painted, you can actually tell that it's, they're actually like beveled pieces. They're actual, they're actual designs that you can tactically feel. So you got like your little tri yellow Triforce up here, golden Triforce. And you got your little design up on top here. 
you got all your little, uh, I can't remember, it's like the Hylian symbol down here. I, I forget exactly the exact name that they call that part, but you know, it's got everything. And then on, on the little bottom part there, each corner, this one's got little rounded, little circle, circular accents, like in the top corners up there. And then you look at this guy, the dark version, shadow link version, same thing, little bit different design. You know, you compare, you got the red and the blue and the gold. This one, it's almost a little bit simpler in design, so it's a little different variant, but I think it still looks just as cool. Everything is kind of more of a monochrome silver and dark, like a black design. Got your bird down there, you got your Triforce. This one, it's all in black though, just the outlines there. And just like the other one, everything is tactile. So, there you go. That is a look at both of the shields. Let's pop back over here, and I'll try to give you one final look here as I step through the uh, blades of death here. Give you guys one last look here. at my Zelda Sword and Shield collection. And my little, my first sword as well. Three swords. And the two shields. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, talk to you guys again later.